Hi, uh, in this session I'm going to cover how to compare a list. Uh, we're going to do two different videos. One is going to compare a list using conditional formatting and another video is going to show how do you compare a list with a pivot table. So the first example here is, well let's say for example we have our two lists here. You can see this is a short list. We can see what we want to see um, how many items show up in one list, show up in the other list. And just a quick eyeball, we can see almond shows up in list one and list two, but I believe, uh, I think blizzard blue, blizzard blue does not show up in list two, where it's in list one. And with a conditional formatting, we can create it where we would just show, uh, we would highlight and color the items that would show up on each of the list. And let's go ahead and see how we do that. Let's create, let's create a copy of this list. I'll just press the control key and left mouse click and just drag this drag this over this sheet over. And what's going to do is it's going to create a, create a copy of this worksheet, this tab. You see that little plus sign there? Let go and then you see here this list two. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select the items in list one. I'm going to press Alt O D. That's a key but keyboard shortcut to bring up the conditional formatting rules manager. I'm going to create a new rule and use a formula to determine which cells to format. And we're going to use the count if formula here. So I'm going to do equal count if and select open parentheses, select B2 to B13. And what the count if does, the values that it takes is you need to have the range of the values it's counting and what parameter it's using to count. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to select this range to count from and we're, the value that it's going to count which value is in there is we're going to start first with A2. That's the first value in column A. So A2 and close parentheses. And what happens is um, once this function executes, it's going to go down each uh, cell in A2, in A column A, and compare it with this range here. It'll go to A2, A3, A4, A5, and if it finds a match, it will color it. So in in this case, I'm going to say doesn't equal zero. So as 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 it goes through this calculation, it's and if it finds a value that matches, it'll increment to one. If it finds another value that matches, it'll incre increment to two, etc., three. So, what we want to do here is, if it doesn't equal zero, if anything but zero, we're going to say, let's give it a color. So let's format it orange. I click OK, click OK, click OK. So it found all these values in list one and list two. Almonds there, antique brass is there, apricots there. And the only thing that's not there is Blizzard Blue. So we can go into list two, we'll select that, and bring up the um, conditional formatting. And then without the shortcut, keyboard shortcut, you can go up actually into the ribbon and go up here and highlight cells and more rules, or you just, cl or just click new rule here. And you go use a formula to determine which cells to format. And we do the same thing here, but just the invert, the opposite. So equal count if open parentheses, select this range, and then we're going to start off the, the, the first cell to compare in column B is B2. So we type in B2, close parentheses, does not equal zero. And I'll go and format it to, I'll go, actually I'll go ahead and format it to orange too here. Click OK, click OK, and we see here that atomic orange is the only value in list two does, that does not show up in list one. And uh, that show that is what we had here in our example, except this one is in yellow. So that's how you compare uh, two lists uh, using the conditional formatting uh, feature. In another video, I'll show you how to do it using a pivot table. So thanks for watching. Hope this helps.